is every time there's a chapter break, I will stop the recording and start the recording so I can actually uh, record this in kind of bite-sized segments for YouTube and see how that goes. Because usually, obviously, my uh, my videos from stream are very, very long. But I think cutting this into chapters should be okay. Oh, boat time. Focus Home Interactive presents... Oh, look, he's about to start smoking. Zunder, you called it. You called it. He's a smoky man. Call it Cthulhu. Ooh, title splash. Oh, hey. Thanks, James Fitzroy. Ba, ba, ba. Okay, we did it. Time to end the stream. Everything is great. We beat it. We did it. It's Kong Island. I love Kong Island. Hello. Oh, this place looks fun already. We got all the gritty 1920s detective boxes checked off. Yeah, exactly. Where's the Call of Cthulhu bingo when you need it? Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Oh, wow. Just throw it. Sure. Welcome to Darkwater Island. Mr. Pierce. Thanks. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink at the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good- I don't need more drinks! Mr. I am Mayor alcoholic! Welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. I have a pile of documents for you for a price. <laughs> yeah. Last thing I need is a pub. Let's go to the Harbor Master. That seems like a good place to start. Ooh, a boat! Or a ship. A Scylla. It finished up beached at the entrance to the harbor. This blackboard hasn't been used in a long while. Yeah, whale. Sperm whale, another kind of thing. That whale. Thing, yeah. Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. Hello. Oh, bathroom. E it looks great. Oh, there's the little pull string. I was like, how the fuck do you flush it? There's actually quite a few. Oh, man. That's what I'm going to do, guys. You know what? If I do play, um, if I do play Kingdom Hearts 3 on stream, broken. I'm, seems half I'm going to find a Kingdom Hearts 3, like, bingo card and have it, like, or just a Kingdom Hearts bingo card and have it set up, like, on stream to check out as we're playing through the game. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this. It's a ship. Angry boat person. 1923. 
my brother also because he's in the navy and apparently uh calling them uh boats is a bad idea Captain, the terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Cat. Yeah, who is Cat? Who Cat? Threatening letter. Oh no, it, it dripping. Well, it's okay. I mean, I always call them boats too. Like, no matter what size they are. Oh, you're literally right there. Hey, look at these cool sea charts. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you, but in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Um, all right. Oh, this day, I was like, what? Th this table is next to me, sir. These manifests are signed yeah, it's by fine. Charles Hawkins. Future check. Someone That's goes crazy. Captain. Check. Gruff, uh, boat captain. Check. <laughs> Only a few dates are still legible. 1890, 1907, and a partial date. The rest of the document is blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Nightmares, check. Uh, too much alcohol. Double check. Oh, damn. Hello, I... Well, bye, I guess. Um... Secretary, check. <laughs> Ooh, The Learning of Medicine, Volume 2. The second volume teaches ethics and good practical practice to medical staff. Uh, 24%. I guess those, do I don't really get a whole lot of points, uh, per thingy. Damn. Well, that's okay. I just need to find way more books. I'd like to touch this because it's doing smoky thing. Is that a paddle? I do love paddles. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. In this photograph, a man who looks like Captain Fitzroy is posing on the bridge of a ship. He has a wooden leg. He doesn't like to have people talk about it. He's very sensitive about his leg. What a macabre souvenir. What a macabre souvenir. Macabre? Is that how you say that? I thought it was just like macabre. Well, I learned something. Macabre. But there's only one R. The what R's at the end. Macabre souvenir. I was about to say, uh, please tell me, like, am I crazy? Or is that how you're actually supposed to say it? Zunder, I don't, which, who was right? Me or him? Oh, it's macabre? Okay. That is so- I hate English so much. That word- Like, you say macabre and people are gonna be like, Ha! And it's like, but that's- You know what? In school they told me to sound things out. But then when you do sound things out, people are like, Ha! You're dumb. Oh, hello. From here, I see everything that goes on in the house. Yeah, that's, I thought it was macabre. The working lives of my sailors. Wait, what does Google say? Stranded whale. Even the antics of these war rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. <laughs> Actually, macabre is just what I say when I eat too much uh, bread. <laughs> macabre. It, what? Macabre. So it is macabre. That I don't understand. Oh God. <laughs> what about French? Uh, French? I don't know. It, it it's only doing it in English. Here, let's uh, let's play. Uh... Yeah, it's so weird. Here, let's listen to it in Spanish. Macabro. Macabra. Macabre. 
Or uh, an English, yeah, an English, English. Macabre. Ah, this is so confusing. So it's macabre for us, but it's macabre for UK. And then it's it. Macabre. It's macabre for Spanish. International. I hate, I hate words so much. These documents are unreadable. Their manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling. But no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although these dates oh. on the manifests could indicate <clears throat> that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Okay. Understood. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? Uh. Investigation professional. Is this a gay? <laughs> it belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Oh, okay. Also, here's French. Macabre. Macabre. It's just very nasal, like much French. Subject of whaling, the sea shanty doing the rounds on TikTok is a New Zealandish sea shanty about an endless whaling expedition. Oh, fun. I was looking at your photograph. Look one at this photograph. Ah, yeah. <clears throat> yes, sorry. I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. Yeah. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Oh, damn. Your father. Your father. John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Oh, is that? I thought that thing up top was a paddle. I guess that was his leg, maybe. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That <clears throat> shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Okay. Okay. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. All right. Wait, let's go back upstairs. Because I thought that thing was like a tiny paddle. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I see now. It's a, yeah, it is a prosthetic leg. From the side, you can, act. okay. Oh, and also there's a just, you know, harpoon. Baby harpoon. Yeah, gosh, you know, Zunder, I am very hit or miss when it comes to like TikTok type stuff because a lot of it I think is just like really dumb or I just don't, I don't really go on there myself. I have a couple of friends that uh, go on there and they'll like share TikToks on um, on Discord and I'll watch them and I'm like, okay, that's pretty good. But like scrolling through TikTok is not fun <laughs> because there's a lot of like, shit on there usually find out from rc you know that makes sense rc rc seems like the kind of person that's connected to a lot of things and i mean that like in a good way not a bad way also how is she doing today she's not she's not crazy cleaning anymore right she ate did she eat <laughs> yeah sullivan come on sullivan if we force it too much we'll break everything can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. 
Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Crap! Yeah. He's gonna get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed him. Dang it! I'm not a specialist! I need to be a specialist. You guys seen any books on Madison? Not cleaning? She's on Stardew? Okay, good. Where do you think you're going? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to Oh, stop? geez. Forget it. Failure. I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce, private detective. Sorry. We're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? <clears throat> I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. Wait, really? Oh. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? <sighs> Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. Oh. He can be unpredictable, especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Okay. Talk to Bradley. I can't remember who Bradley is. Are you Bradley? Good job, you missed that guy? Oh, dang. You Bradley? You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. What? Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. What? I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. <laughs> Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Is that right? Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Well, you guys are just yelling at me. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us like all uh... townspeople do. Saint Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until those assholes defaced him. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom, I wonder? Yeah, from who? They really don't have a choice anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. I guess we gotta go find cat. Who's cat? Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. <laughs> we didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Damn it. Leave. I've taken enough of your time. Well, see you later. Okay, you guys started off like being very angry. Uh... Oh, there's a statue. I was like, what statue at the end of the jetty? Well, let's go touch the statue, I guess. Uh, 
Aw, look at them. They wrote, oh, weird shit all over it. Hello? Occultism. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. There. Okay, well. Damn. I guess I should go to the bar and at least talk to, like, the bartender. Hello? Hmm. Damnation. I broke it. No! I'm not! I'm not good enough to get inside! No use. The padlock won't give. Damn. Investigation. I, I didn't know investigation was, uh... Fucking doing crimes. Also, hi, foe. Oh, I'm playing uh, Call of Cthulhu. That's what's happening. Is that. Hel S sir, are. Uh, sir, is your fishing line okay? But how are you doing today, foe? Welcome. The Stranded Whale. That's just like a really sad bar name. Oh shit! Hi, Pyra! <laughs> I was just like, oh man, out of nowhere. You're eating food while watching stream? Yeah, what kind of, what'd you get? Also, you look great today. You look great every day, but I just want to let you know that you look great today, Phil. Just so you know. Did that guy just spit on the floor? Ugh, what a dick. Why does everybody look so, they look diseased. This is a bad island. Did I just? Hey, be careful. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Oh, is that cat? Are you cat? I bet you're cat. You look like you'd be a pirate lady. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. <laughs> what? In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. I'm not a troublemaker. <laughs> you saw what happened. He's the trouble. He's the troublemaker. Oh, you're a true mainlander, a real princess. You strut around with your lottie da ways, and then, as soon as the pressure arises, you start squealing. You don't have what it takes to drink my whiskey. You've got to earn it. I don't want to drink your whiskey. Here for information. Not for a fight. I prefer it that way. <laughs> the, the, the cheekbones. Oh. I reserve the right to answer or not. The I still fuck with Pierce. Yeah. What do you know about the Hawkins warehouse? What? Oh, that looks super good, foe. First off, there are rumors. Oh. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Oh, yeah? Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions. That can you tell those guys to stop sea shantying? I'm trying to investigate. Anything else? Uh. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? Miracle. You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. It's Cat! Anything else? It's Cat. You just gave it away. That's like the only woman in here. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Okay, so Fo, I just want to let you know, once, like, travel is less restricted, I do want to go down there and eat, like, all kinds of food until I die. So, just so you know. Her vision. <laughs> well, not, so maybe not, okay, not, I, I won't is. die. I'll just go into a food coma multiple times. A point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Her 
Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured. Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. Yeah. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. Uh. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel... Zander, you need, you need you brisket need in your life at least once. Make up your own mind. And getting your stomach pumped? Yeah, well... It's okay. I mean, at least that's easier than other things. I won't go too crazy. Yeah, apparently in uh, Britain land, they just don't... They just don't do the barbecues. They're too fancy for barbecue. Actually, I, that's probably not true, but... I've got what I need. Anything else? Pardon, what? Foe, but you like them there. The stranded whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. <laughs> what can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. No, okay. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back sweating and stinking. Well, I guess America really does love cow an awful lot. And it was a Britain, not so much. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. Oh, yeah? That must have been before you came <laughs> looking for a fight in my bar. Oh, come on. Because of a little tussle. Drinking it here is a privilege, and I grant the privilege All right, fine. want. Anything else? Barbecues and a... Oh, I mean, kind, I don't know. I mean, there's Korean barbecue, which is super good, but I, I guess it depends. Like, beef-centered barbecue is probably an American thing, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, Google will tell us. Google, tell us. Barbecue. Where was barbecue... Invented. Uh, where was barbecue originated? That's actually terrible English. Oh. Okay. What's the history of the barbecue? <clears throat> Favorite American pastime and a summer tradition for many. Barbecues have a long and surprisingly patriotic history. Fuck it. Stop that. Um. They began when human ancestor called Homo erectus began cooking meat with a fire about one point. Yeah. If, uh... Okay. Apparently, but barbecues, the way that Americans know them now, meat cooked over grill or pit covered in spices and basting sauce originated in the Caribbean. Yeah. And then I guess we kind of adopted it because we're like, we were, we're going to make so many cows, so many cows. But yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, come on. Have you seen a lot of white America? They don't know what spices are. Sorry, but it's true. Um, so yeah, and I mean Caribbean jerk and all that different stuff. Yeah. So yeah, barbecue originated in the Caribbean and then I think it just kind of like, we were like, hey look, that's something we like. We're gonna take that and make it American. Patriotic. Well, rubs are a thing, Andy, but uh, who made those rubs? That's the real question. Okay, fine. That'll be all for now. Whatever, I don't want your dumb alcohol. Fuck you, spitty guy. With your spit. I want to go talk to Cat. Are you going to kill me? Another break? Hi, Cat. One of those damn sailors came looking for trouble again. Oh, wait. But he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. We'll return right after. Just that standing guy. Why is this so true, though? It's true. That fool Fitzroy can't keep his dogs on a leash. I'll have to send him a more clear-cut message. Hi! What you looking at, stranger? <laughs> I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Uh, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. Dang. Wow, that was... Uh, I'm sorry, can I try this again? I told you to beat it. I'm sorry, I need to know stuff. I told you to beat it. I need... I told you to beat it. I told you to beat it. Well, I guess I gotta leave.
True, but yeah, we we do like to take things and then be like, this is here. <laughs> or like, remember, I think I said this last stream, but when, um, you know, we decided to call uh, French fries French fries, even though they aren't French. And then people got mad at the French ones. So they were like, we're going to call these freedom fries. And I'm like, you guys are fucking dumb. They're sliced fried potatoes. Just call them fries. We're true sirens. Um, I don't think we're getting a wave of anything other than, uh, essential workers and stuff yet, but I know mom already got hers. I'm not sure if Megan got hers yet. I figure she should soon, because she does do education stuff, but. Um. I heard the Hawkins family owned a warehouse on the docks. An old family of ship owners. Aw. Tell me something I don't already know. They were made much richer by the miraculous catch. You shouldn't talk about the dead like that. We're not speaking ill. We're just saying that Daniel Hawkins made a fortune without taking any risk. There! You're speaking ill, you see? <laughs> it's your proof that the miraculous catch really, really did, did happen. happen. Man, now that I'm looking at barbecue stuff, I really want some fucking, like, garlic sausage and things. Uh, why is it so good? Right, like, right. Yeah, it's true. It's. I don't know. Like, it, it, I feel like it's a, a, a show of goodwill, folk, but it's also just, like, not the best show. Like, you, you got to understand, like, the limitations and stuff of your own country. The thing is, our country has. We could do a lot more, but. Remember, we were trying for four years to make America great again, even though we didn't really need that. Because that was basically just making people really shitty and racist. But, anyway. <laughs> what brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Say for the, yeah, Until no. The, last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, the miraculous catch. That sounds nice. What's the I've song? I've heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. Tell me more about it's this catch. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? Where the proof? Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Yeah, that would have that been terrible too. Happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. Okay. And it was delicious. Nice. It sounds like Gilbert Godfrey. You know, a little bit, yeah. Well, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. I had to bring all the that guy just looks uh, really insane, so I'm going to check this out first. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last... But didn't want to open a door? Why? Oh, come on. Yeah, but Andy, and that's another thing. Like, a lot of people are like, well, as soon as I get um, my shot, it's fine. I can do whatever, right? And it's like, no, it's a two-stage thing, and you still have to be kind of careful until everybody gets it, because that's not how herd immunity works, but, you know. Like the father of Resident Evil 8? Oh, except younger. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty bad. The Chanty. 21st May, 1847. Miraculous catch! The Scylla returns to port to save Darkwater from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Scylla, or what remains of it, returned to Darkwater port on Tuesday afternoon. The locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. Of a size that went beyond that of the formidable toothed whales. The cetacean that is already being called the miraculous catch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. The surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutritious benefits. There is no doubt that the immense size of this whale will allow numerous inhabitants of Darkwater 
to feed themselves, bringing an end to the, fa the famine from which the part of the island was suffering. Warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks is putting up his warehouse for rent from June for fishing, workshop, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper. Visit him on the docks. Special evening at the Stranded Whaling. To celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family or friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave with a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah, probably. I don't know if it was a whale. And the doctor, what did he say? He laughed. My God. You said it. Oh, hey, sorry. I wasn't eavesdropping. Hello. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Um. We'll follow its reader and his skin is gross. Gifted with its own consciousness. Until it finds a new reader. Ah, that's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. Well, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker. And a debtor. Interesting. Interesting. I'm also a heavy drinker. The Nordic's Viking boom was partially in thanks to fish oil. Oh, yeah? I guess that makes sense. Well. Okay, well, I guess let's get the hell out of here because he's not going to give me anything because I answered wrong after fucking with that guy. Who's Bradley? Bradley? Bradley! Bradley? Also, thank you, Cherokee Bill, for the follow. How are you doing today? Hi. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. Yeah. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested <laughs> in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. Hmm. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. Thanks, bye! Uh... I shall take my leave. Oh, look, a car. Okay. That's in a terrible place. What's over here? It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Hidden item time! Wait, wait. Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh, what is this? A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Oh! Ratchet device! Dang, this device is ratchet. <laughs> Get Anyway. <clears throat> this part enables heavy loads to be lifted and held aloft without risk. This ratchet device seems to be usable. What if I put the ratchet device uh, on the uh, th something? Uh, somewhere. S somewhere. What is this? Oh, a ladder. Bum, bum, ba -dum, ba. Oh, I wonder if maybe I put the ratchet device on. Use this old winch to lift the grating. If I had a handle. Oh shit! Da, 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 da. Welcome, Raiders from Cherokee Bill. How are you guys doing today? Little Hungry, Vodka versus Whiskey, Lily Emerald, welcome. Fish oil consumption in the Nordic regions date back a long, long time. Give health benefits. It was great natural supplement. 
leading to a stronger and healthier. Yeah, fish oil is very healthy. Just not a lot of people like it because not everybody likes fish flavored things. But yes, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the follow, Lillian Crossbone Zeta. Hopefully you guys are all doing good and you had a good stream. I am Chaos Hand, and I usually play like retro games or older RPGs and such, but um, I had no idea what to play today and I wasn't really feeling in like, like my normal stuff. So I was like, I have Call of Cthulhu on PS4, so why not? So here we are and now I'm, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for, but I'm looking for something. Answer your question earlier was preparing for No, 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 you're fine. Well, oh, since when do I have a lighter? Okay, I have a lighter, I guess. Cogwheel. This cogwheel is a part of a mechanism. That's intelligence 100. Yes, sir. Cogwheels are usually a part of a whole. It should be possible to mount this. Isn't it nice? Range. You had a fish oil and cod liver oil. Doesn't taste very fishy. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like it's apparently fish oil is also very good for dogs like coats and stuff. But any dog I've had has not really liked fish oil. And I'm like, it's weird because dogs will eat just about anything. But they really drank it with meals. At yeah. Yeah, he was smoking. Well, I know, but I didn't think he was just going to be like, well, I got to be able to see. So here's my tiny lighter. Um, But yeah, OK, well. Is that I don't even know how I pulled that out. It just kind of happened. Oh, it's triangle. Triangle pulls out your lighter. Cool. But yeah, no, no problem. I understand that. <laughs> Like, I've done that a few times before, or sometimes, like, if I'm just really tired, I'll just kind of host, because I'm like, I love you guys, but I can't, like, I can't pay enough attention to do things right now. Okay, I need a... Oh, what is this? Ah! The lever. This handle will be perfect for the winch. Yay! It's winching time. Yeah, no, here, let's, uh... There you go. Oh, you were also playing Call of Cthulhu? Nice! Yeah, I just started it today, and the beginning segment, I was like, oh, well, this is... There's a lot of gross stuff around here. Um, wait, uh... Not the handle. Ha-ha! Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Okay, do it then. You won't. You just finished it now, Cameron. Nice, yeah. No, that's awesome. I, like, honestly, I haven't played, like, this kind of style of game in a little while, but I'm liking it so far, and I'm liking the interactions with the characters, even though I've made a couple of bad choices, and now Cat hates me, but I don't know if I should go down here right now. Well, whatever. Here we go. Or, yeah. Higher chicken. It's also very gross down here. So, yeah, no, it is. <coughs> Ew. <coughs> I don't think I should be down here. It's. Oh! Am I about to. <laughs> Am I gonna die? <laughs> Just... <laughs> so give me the medicine. <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. I hope it's not toxic. <laughs> no, um, no, it's probably okay. That coughing is very normal. I hope uh, this whole... I went, yeah. Probably not cod liver oil. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad that the gas was also not explosive. How does he handle junk? Does he handle junk? Uh, what do you mean badly? I'm fine with jump scares. Huh? Hello? Okay, well, that's fine. Okay! Okay! Well... Did... Oh, well, bye, I guess. About... Okay. Uh... Well... Okay. Well, I didn't die. That's good, at least. That was a little weird. 
Uh -huh. Okay. Well, at least I seem to be breathing okay. Oh, hi. Occultism. This is primitive. That. I mean, even I could tell that. I'm not very occulty. But you know what? It's okay. He's doing his best. And he just thought he got drowned by an octopus. So we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, this place stinks. Yeah, it probably smells like horrible, fishy what grossness. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Uh, I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, I'm usually... Well, like, jump scares get me just because they're jump scares. But, like, scary games... Kind of, they, they tend to actually make me more salty than anything else because, um, a reconstruction scene. Because sometimes I just am not very good at them and then I feel dumb and then I'm like, I hate this. Like, actually, I, as much as I loved The Evil Within, there were parts of it that made me incredibly angry because the controls were not fantastic. Also, thank you so much for the follow, Spicy Patootie. Welcome from Cherokee as well. Thank you for being here. You get salty at chat. Uh, I usually I try not to like unless somebody's just being like super trolly. But uh, oh, brain. What is this? Oh, psychology. What happened here? Oh, dang. Nice. Uh, nice butt shadow. Anyway, um. <laughs> But yeah, like, oh man, there's another one. Oh, uh, I also played Condemned Bloodshot. That game. Sleep. <laughs> that game. I know how that feels. Oh my god, I got like so mad at some parts of the game, but that's because some of the checkpoints are really bad, and also the combat in that game is terrible. Like the story of the game isn't too bad, but holy, it, it's it's kind of weird when you go back and you check out older games, and you're like, man, this controls. Horrible. I actually played both of them. Um, I enjoyed the second one much more, and I had a lot more fun with it just because overall the gameplay was a lot smoother, and um, you didn't have to burn all of the corpses because you, you never like had enough matches to burn all the corpses in the first game anyway. It, it, I, I, that mechanic, I was like, I don't like that. Oh, that's... That's not pretty at all. Whoever hit it here seems to worship Sarah Hawkins. Oh, I I would say what just happened. Oh, uh, I imagine. But the first one, I think the first one did have a better story, but like everything about the second one just felt smoother. So, I was like, man, this is It's like I I just enjoy playing this one more. Plus there were a couple of bosses in the first one that were just absolute like dog shit to try to get through. Because I was like, man, how are you supposed to do this when everything is so clunky? And yeah, uh, Zeta, exactly. Like, the, the worst part about Condemned was, I have it on the, um, on the Xbox 360 now, but I was playing the Steam version, and the Steam version, like, didn't even have a full screen mode, or you couldn't really mess with the graphics much, so I was kind of like, I had to, like, finagle it to even play it right on the PC and stream it, and then, like, it just, oh, man. It was just, it was a bad time. Like, I might play it again on console and see if maybe that fixes some things. Like, maybe it's 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 a little bit smoother, but I just remember I had one checkpoint that happened in that game where it auto-saved right before I, like, got shot to death. And I was just like, what is this? How am I supposed to get through this? It was, it was pretty bad. It smells as bad as it looks. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, that looks pretty bad. Sorry that we were just staring at, like, fish entrails for a while while I was explaining things. Who medicine? Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Construction time. Oh. Oh, wait, did I, uh, oh, wait. Do I need to touch this again? Did I? No, okay. My wait, am I back in the normal? Pl okay, I think everything's normal again. <sighs> How do I get out of? Oh wait, is that a door? 
That is not a door. Uh, oh, wait, that's a door. <laughs> the one door looking thing in this room is the door. That Someone makes sense. Settled in here. Oh. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Oh, it's Bradley. Hi, Bradley. Don't move. The Hawkins case has been wound up. Let the dead rest in peace. Okay, uh, Bradley, first thing I want to say, I hate your face and your teeth, but go on. Wound up? You mean messed up? No. We don't take no lessons from the likes of... Okay, there we go. His mouth actually opened all the way for once. And fairly. No stone was left unturned. Uh-huh. Really? Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. Let me guess. It was in the Hawkins mansion. Precise. Nice quotes. Wait. <laughs> you can still see the burn marks. One of the best parts about my stream is that the quotes show up, and without any context, most of them sound absolutely terrible. I've seen enough. It's the Hawkins mansion that interests me now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail. Uh huh. I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. I don't know. I want to understand how your mouth works. <laughs> like, his teeth are so large. Open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Well, I went underground, but I won't tell you that part. Damn it. Her again. Oh, hi, cat. Hey, I'm sorry about before. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. He's not even that fat, Why actually. You? Rude. Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion? Can we go to the mansion? Who the hell are you? Yeah, it's... <laughs> what were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. <sighs> well, your turf was full of nasty, gross fish guts. Mansion. Yeah. <laughs> Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. Okay, what's up there? Is that the mansion? See the building? Yeah, okay. Yeah, actually that's a pretty prominent the building. The Hawkins mansion. Come on. We got some driving to do. Okay, Bradley. I did it. Chapter 3. Garden of the Hawkins mansion. Man, this chapter went by, uh, this took a lot longer than the first chapter, but that was mostly just uh, us realizing that we're kind of a drunkard and also figuring out that we got things to do.